Hey, what's up? Yesterday we posted a video with camera test of Yumi Digi Bison X10. Did you watch it? If not, I recommend to check it out. We also have unboxing, performance test and battery test of the new Regi smartphone from Yumi Digi on our channel Tech Brothers. And this is the last video about Yumi Digi Bison X10. We will talk about pros and cons of this mobile device. I have been using the smartphone for more than 3 weeks now, and I have a lot to say about it. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos. The first feature of Yumidigi Bison X10 is a budget price. Right now you can buy it for only $119 on AliExpress. If you don't believe me, I will leave the link in the description under the video. You can check for yourself. I think it is a very affordable price for the rugged smartphone. You know, Yumidigi Bison X10 doesn't look like the other rugged phones. Yes, it is still bulky and heavy, but the design of the rear panel is very stylish. The back panel of smartphone looks like a glass, but actually it is made of itchy made fiber glass. There is also an industrial rubber frame. This is a rugged smartphone, so it is waterproof, dustproof and shockproof by IP68, IP69K and military ratings. I think that Yumodigi Blazon X10 is one of the most beautiful rugged phones on the market. As already said, this is a budget smartphone, so it has entry-level chipset Helio P60. The benchmark results are not very high, about 146,000 points in N2. However, you can still play any games on this mobile device, such as PUBG Mobile, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile and others. I think that this is an achievement of game developers, not the smartphone manufacturer, but I still glad that the Umidichi Bison X10 runs all the games, and it is really comfortable to play them. The new Ragged phone from Umidichi also has dual SIM and microSD memory card slot. However, I think that some of you will be more interested in NFC. I know that NFC is popular in some countries. This is because you can use a mobile device for contactless payments. Talking about camera, Yumidigi Bison X10 has 20 megapixels main sensor. It is good, and you can take really nice pictures. However, I am surprised by the quality of a wide-angle photos. There is only 8 megapixels ultra-wide-angle sensor on the back of smartphone. But the quality of wide-angle photos are the same as on the main 20 megapixels camera. The pictures at night are also very good. Yumidigi Bison X10 has a big 6150mAh power battery. The battery life of this smartphone is very long, almost 12 and a half hours. I think that you can expect about 2-3 days on a single charge in real use. That's very good battery life. Talking about cons of Yumidigi Bison X10, I have found only two of them. First, I don't like the charging time of this smartphone. The full battery charge takes more than 4 hours. It is very long. This is because Yumidigi Bison X10 has a big battery and only 10 watt charging support. I have told you that I like the wide-angle photos on this rugged smartphone. But you cannot shoot video on the wide-angle camera. I don't know why, but there is no wide-angle mode when you shoot a video. By the way, we have tested Yumidigi Bison Pro some months ago, and it also couldn't record wide-angle videos. It looks like this is a problem of all smartphones from Yumidigi Bison series. In general, Yumidigi Bison X10 is one of the best rugged smartphones for its price. I don't think you can buy anything better for $119. If you don't agree with me, write in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.